So hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we're taking a look at this Ford F-Max mod. So let's get started by taking a look at all of the customization. Okay then, so here we are inside the truck configurator. Now I do, well I have tried out another uh, Ford F-Max mod before, but I'm not sure if this is the same mod or not. To me, it seems a little bit lower quality than I remember. Um, but yeah, it's a bit odd. Cause I, th I, I remember that this being a really, really high quality mod. Uh, probably even better than SES quality, but from my sort of short drive that I've just done in it, um, yeah, it just doesn't have the same effect. I might have just been remembering it wrong, but yeah, I'll have to have a look into that more. Uh, so we've got the chassis standard, and then we've also got a lowered version, which I don't remember the one before um, having, um, but it does look good lowered to be honest. It fills the arches better, but probably less practical. Uh, only one engine, it's Eco Torque, sounds like a very Ford name. 500 horsepower, 2500 new, newton meters of torque, that's plenty. 12 speed gearbox, sadly you can't get a 6 speed. Uh, interior, I mean, it's not bad the interior, um, but yeah, it's just not as good as, re as I was remembering. Uh, just some of the textures on the dashboard look a little bit low. Uh, the detail's pretty good, um, but yeah it's kind of odd i do like the color choices though the black with the gray it says black um black and black but um black and gray really that is sort of black and light gray um that's an unusual color it's almost like lilac i mean if you compare the two there and then you got beige which you know may look good um, with certain colors on the outside and it also shows up on the outside as well which is always good uh, a few sort of preset colours here, all pretty nice, some metallic ones in there as well. Obviously you've got your custom metallic and custom colour there. Uh, options, what have we got? So down the bottom we've got a chrome sort of lower grill guard. Um, we can then change the colour of the sort of light background. That's a very nice option actually. It does look very good in black, especially if you go for an all black look. That may look really smart, yeah. Um, if just carry on for now. Uh, here we have got some little light options for the grill, ADR plates, and then we have some different options for the grill. So we've got chrome or black. I uh, do like the old black, but it does look a bit plasticky to be honest. Uh, but if it's like that in real life, then that's fair enough. Uh, some different options for the mirrors. I do like the sort of design they got going on there when you paint it um got a light board on the inside with f max if you want and a few other ones as you can see uh, it does come with a sisal add-on uh, so if you got the sisal um, add-ons pack you'll be able to use that with this um, we have got some light bars at the top only one um, what we got here some different options for the spoiler um sort of lower and then two, so have it with or without the extra piece there, as you can see. Um, and that's that option again. Right, we've got door handles here, you can have black door handles. Now I don't really like the black door handles, I just prefer it when they all blend in like that. I think it looks smarter. Uh, down the side we can have painted skirts which really smarten it up. I do think it's quite a good looking truck to be honest. Then you've got a chrome bar down the side if you wish. Uh, around the back we have got some FMAX logos or sort of reflectors or whatever you want. And that's it for the outside. So if we move on to the inside, you can change the wheel. That is odd. It's like rubber. More like a glossy plastic. That looks really strange. And then these are all from the size of mod. I'm not going to click them because it'll probably crash my game. Um, yeah, all the size of mod things uh, do have a sat nav there, but it is quite small and dim, uh, so that's one thing to note. You'll be able to see that in a bit. More sisal add ons, uh, things down there, loads of places to put all your things on the seat and everything. Got the front mirror there, got some curtains. That's the what's that? I don't know what they say. Then some bits on your windscreen. 
Uh, so there we go. Now I'm going to meet you outside once I've configured this truck to my spec. Okay then, so here we are, all fully configured and outside. Now I've gone for red on the beige. does look pretty smart, um, in my opinion. I've just actually noticed, if you look uh, at the inside, um, it does have... It is modelled fairly well, uh, as you can see there. The indicators, no, the indicators don't show, but it's just got a different wheel on top. Uh, which is kind of odd. If we just switch it on, as you can see, they all come to life. Uh, the sat nav doesn't show anything, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the model is fairly good outside. I went for the black lights, as you can see. Uh, they look pretty nice. Massive Ford badge. Uh, but if we just jump on the inside, um, yeah, it's not bad in here. Um, but yeah, it's just not as detailed as I remember. Uh, you got the display up there. Uh, if you just turn the hazards off a second. Uh, you got your gear. Uh, current speed, range, fuel economy, uh, temperatures, and then back around to the start. The engine... I'm pretty sure it's a six-cylinder. It's quite loud, especially on idle. Um, it sounds like you're standing outside, it's kind of odd, uh, but if we just get going here, let's just pull out, put it in manual mode today, obviously 12 speed is your only option, and it seems to pull fairly nicely, I mean this trailer is 27 tonnes, and it's, yeah it feels like it's got a lot of torque at the high end. Um, from just pulling away there. I mean, we're up to 35 now. And I'm, well, I'm pushing it now, but 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, and that's a speed limit. That is fairly impressive, actually. Not too bad at all. If we just make a left here. But obviously, you've got to watch out because we've got the double trailer, but uh, the visibility in this is fairly good. Uh, the mirrors uh, are almost sort of frameless, which is pretty nice, as you can see over there. Uh, it's pretty nice detail, looks really smart. And it sounds... you can hear that. I'm not sure what that sound is. That whining on the acceleration. Sounds pretty unusual. Um, but yeah, it drives so well. I just kind of forgot how well it drove, actually. It's really linear, the power delivery. I mean, if I just slow down now, drop it into eighth. And it hauls really well. As I said, from around 1500, it seems to do pretty well. If we drop it down, still a bit of torque there. I think under, under 1000. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. The pickup's fairly good. So yeah, it's quite a responsive engine from wherever in the power band you are which is always pretty good handling look at that that's really responsive um if we just hang a right here have a little further drive so watch out for these double trailers but yeah it is really enjoyable to drive this really really impressive yeah as i said when i first drove it I did think yeah it's not as good as I remembered but after this little journey yeah this is pretty good it's definitely not finished I mean as I said some of the textures on the dash are a bit rubbish um, and from certain angles you can actually see through the truck which is odd um, but yeah it's definitely getting there I believe there's been a few more additions since I drove it like I don't remember the lights you being able to sort of colour those, or paint, make them black or chrome. I think it looks really smart like that. I like the daytime running lights. Uh, indicators are all pretty nice, all LED. And I think it looks a really smart truck. I'm not actually sure if we get them in the UK or not, or where the market is for these, but yeah, I really do like them. So I definitely recommend you uh, taking a look at this mod, um, because as I said before, this is probably one of the best mods that I've tried this year. I am going to probably do a best um, truck of the year, possibly, um, which I've been sort of thinking about. 
and this would probably be one of the uh, nominations for that. Uh, but yeah, it's a simple uh, park this time. Yeah, it's really easy to get close to the wall. All the mirrors. There we are. Let's bring it over a bit. There we are. Parking brake on, engine off, lights off. So there we go. If you enjoyed that video, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.